did another video, and that's because, yet again, I wanted to quit doing them. I felt like I was being too immature, and I should, and I should just grow up and not do them. I, I, seriously, that's why I kind of wanted to quit making them, which is why it's been a while since I did any, but I have to keep reminding myself why I keep doing this. It, it's because I'm suffering very badly. Therapy never works, but vlogging helps because I can get my feelings out anytime I want. And I'm at a point where I have to force myself to do this, which is why I'm doing it now. Um, so I kind of wanted to say something, which to me is a miracle in the making because I never thought I'd say something like this. But I'm tired of this shit. I really am. I'm tired of this fucking shit. What am I tired of? I'm tired of letting my depression run my life. And as much as I believe that my death is the only way to fulfill my happiness, I don't want to do that anymore. I just don't. I... 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 You see... Here's the thing. Now, this isn't the first time this kind of happens, or kind of happen, happens for a while now. But I feel like for the past couple of years, little by little, have I been going, getting into this awareness part of depression. As you take your meds more often, as you try to motivate yourself more to want to help yourself, or at least um, you have an increasing will to want to help yourself get through um, the struggle of mental illness, you, well, I, in particular, get this awareness, and this awareness makes me, it's like I'm finally waking up, is what I'm trying to say, I'm waking up to seeing how damaging my depression really is, and that, underneath that depression, I really am a different person, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. But, um, I'm aware that I made a lot of bad choices. I'm aware that self-harming is not a healthy activity I should continue to participate in. Let me tell you, in, during most of my 20s, when I was at my most self-destructive, self um, part of my life, I, I thought this was normal, cutting my wrist was normal, uh, even if I wasn't hurting myself to kill myself, I was hurting myself to punish myself, so even if it wasn't for specifically as a suicide attempt, I was still hurting myself um, in various ways. Um, to punish myself because I felt like I needed it. And this wasn't just from depression. Well, I guess it kind of is. I mean, this... My 20s was filled with a lot of self-hatred. The, uh, the things I hated most about myself are things I can't change. I'm always going to be black. I'm, I'm always going to be gay. I definitely can't change being gay. Um... I'm never going to be the, uh, society has a huge restriction on how men should act like, and I'm never going to be like that. I'm going to, I can only be myself, which I never thought I'd say. Um, I'm aware that I'm still having mixed feelings about suicide. Do I feel like I deserve it? Yes. Do I feel like taking my life is the only way to achieve happiness? Yes. And do I... But, do I want to do that? No. My passion for it is, like, gone. Well, almost. I still have, like, for the past two months, really, month and a half, two months, almost every single day I have... All these suicidal thoughts, like, 
How cool will it be if I had a gun and shot myself in the head? Um, the past couple of weeks I was thinking how cool it would be if my death was more of a public execution type of style. Like I would go to somewhere where people would see it and I would kill myself there and people would love to and people will be entertained by this. No one would panic. No one would be scared. Um, uh, no one would care. They'll leave my corpse right there riding. No one would try to clear it out. They'll just leave it there. And you know, I honestly think I, you know, no one gives a fuck about me. Um, I want, and I have all, basically what I'm trying to say is I still. My mind is still plagued with all these self-harming thoughts, but my the part that's finally waking up saying D you shouldn't do this, depression is telling you lies more and more. I'm getting more and more awareness telling me not to do this. So when I get suicidal thoughts, like I've been getting since, well... I've had suicidal thoughts for years, but it's, I had a period of time where it's like not as active, and then there's other periods of time where my suicidal thoughts are very active, and I'm going to say for, since the last half of December 2017 up until now, my suicidal thoughts have been in my mind every single day, and I'm fighting through them. And I didn't choose to fight my mental illness. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to kill myself. That's what I wanted. And it came to a point where I asked myself, why am I not dead yet? Robin Williams ended his life on the first try. Uh, um, the singer from Lincoln Park committed suicide and what's even scary is that he hung himself and and that's how I wanted to end my life I wanted to hang myself that's that well I would say that was one of my options available to me because I even if I did try suicide again today it would have to be something that that's not so messy like suffocation I even know which plastic bag I want to use, which is the pl plastic bag I use to put my laptop in. But I, uh, trust me, I don't want to do this shit. I want to fight my depression. I want to fight these suicidal thoughts. But this awareness I have is also bringing me down. Because it's telling me how much time I've lost because of this. Do you know... What twenties is supposed to mean to a normal human being? It's supposed to be about exploring your opportunities, exploring life, enjoying having fun, enjoying your first chance at adulthood, developing your independence. But that quick, I quickly destroy that. So now, basically, if if I continue this path at a gra at a gradual speed. Because as much as I want to speed through my depression, it cannot be done. If I continue to go on this road, basically what I should have learned and done in my 20s has been pushed 10 years into my 30s. And I feel so fucking retarded. Thinking back on it, all the times I wanted to hang myself, drink, I only drunk gasoline once and it was only a a sip. I did that when I was 15. Um, just my entire 20s was gone. Wasted, basically. Because I was supposed to be killed off years ago. You know, awareness is not a good thing. Because, well, maybe it is. Because it tells you that what you have been doing is not a, a good choice to make. And it's not something you should be doing. Um, but it's just like, I'm now aware that depression has been running my life for years. 
I've been hospitalized several times, so specifically because of suicide attempts. And the last time I tried to commit suicide, I should have died then because I overdosed. Um, and as a matter of fact, my last suicide attempt was in this apartment not even a week after I moved in here. And I can't tell you, when you do something like this and you continue to live in the place that you try to take your life, it is draining. I am still here and it's time for me to get out. Not Unfortunately, there's more reasons to why I need to move from a disruptive neighbor who is extremely crazy and fucking negative. That reminds me of someone that I'm glad I'm not around anymore because he was a he was just mean um uh you know I said this over and over this this apartment's just not a safe place for me to be in and when you live when you suffer from mental illness and you're living in an environment that's only bringing you so much stress in your life it's only making your mental health worse so, I just, it's time for me to get out of here, basically what I'm trying to say, as one of the goals to achieve a better mental health lifestyle, but, um, I killed myself here, and I can't, I can't move on if I'm still living in a place that I tried to kill myself before, I just... It gives me triggers and urges to try to do it again. And, um, I can't be around that shit anymore. And it's just, I'm still in that in-between thing where I see benefits of living and dying. And so I'm still in the middle of seeing, of wanting to help myself and seeing that all these depression thoughts I'm still having. So I'm, I'm like... I just, I just, I feel really bad. I feel guilty. I even cried about it last night, saying I ruined my life. There's no coming back from it. My life is too damaged to the point where I'm stuck, and I can't get out. I'm suffocated. I don't need a plastic bag to feel suffocated. I'm suffocated already. I'm drained I have a huge amount of fatigue. In this awareness I have saying depression has been running play, running your life. Um, that you finally realize that you deserve better than... You deserve to live better than how you've been living for years. Um, this awareness thing is just like... It's also... I don't know. I guess it's a blessing and a curse. Um, it's a curse because I'm being reminded that I made a lot of terrible mistakes that cost a lot of... that damaged my life. It cost me a chance to just have happy memories because all I have are bad ones. <laughs> um, I see the good and the bad. Uh, I just, I'm, and I'm, I'm finally wanting to use this video to say I, I want mental freedom. I want my depression to be gone. And I, but the thing is, I feel like even I'm when I'm at a point where I want to help myself a lot more. Um, I still feel like I'm wasting my life. Like, helping my mind get better. I'm wasting it. My life. Like, it's a waste of time to help myself. I feel like that. Because I'm 32 years old now. And I feel like I'm racing against time. Because I missed out on an entire decade of my life. That I don't have any life experience. Um... Except for me trying to end my life, making poor decisions, making impulsive decisions, 
that changed my life for the worse. Oh, I have though that type of memories. I don't have any good ones. And I just um I just this awareness thing that that's going through my mind saying depression is your enemy and you need, you need to fight this. It's just it's just a weird thing. Um, I'm aware that I lost a lot of time in my life, but I also know that I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on the future and the many years I still have. And I hope that I have many years left. Which is strange, because I've been suicidal for so many years. Suicidal for so many years. <sighs> I just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's a fuck.